As part of the new features which was added to version 15 of WYSIWYG Web Builder is the Unsplash integration that allows you to be able to use images from Unsplash.com which happens to be a stock um, photo website. So let's take a look at how to go about this. So to get started or to be able to add the Unsplash um, or to get images from Unsplash, you have to first come into the Insert tab in your ribbon and then look out for Unsplash Photos. So once you click on it, and then you draw on your canvas and then this is going to bring a pop-up for you to select the image now one thing you're supposed to bear in mind is that this particular feature works with the internet so in case you are not connected to the um, internet you wouldn't have this working out for you so once you have this i'm um, showing you guys to specify or select the image you want to use now you can specify or select the image by simply searching for um, an image maybe you can make a search just type out technology you go ahead you can go ahead to specify the size of it you can just go ahead and hit on search and then this is going to take some time to load images in the category of technology so once you have what you want and then you can go ahead to select it so let's just say maybe i want this i can go ahead and then specify the size of it but if i'm okay with the normal size i can leave it like that and then click on ok so once i have the image added in here and then let me just go ahead and then double click on it again let me take a look at something in here you realize that where we have this particular link to the image it is not a local link whereby the image is from our system directly but this is being loaded from on splash which i think is a very cool feature in the sense that it doesn't burden your project so much for you to have you know a very huge file as well as um the asset files that you use as part of your project but this is directly loaded from on splash.com which wouldn't take a longer time to do so so that's one thing so which is known as the hot link in there so that's one thing you have in here so in case you want to change this particular image uh, maybe what you selected isn't what you want you can go ahead and then click on this particular icon in here which is going to bring you back to a splash photo for you to select or specify um, a different image to use for that particular section so once you select an image which works out best for you, you just come back and then click on ok to have it changed and as you can see, so maybe you might have to go about resizing this a bit and then position it where you, wherever you want to have it on your project. You can go ahead and change the alternative text, which isn't going to affect the image itself. So let me just clear this. You can change the title as well. Click on OK and this is going to stay the same. So what is needed here is just a link to the image you have in there. So once you're done, you go ahead and then click on OK. Before even clicking on OK, you can go ahead and then apply all the properties in here to this particular image. So you can um, set that as a link. You can add effect to it. You can put a watermark in there. You can add events, CSS animations, and then you can even put pattern around the image. So let's go ahead and click on OK. Now, in case we don't want to go about just um, using the splash that is under the Insert tab, we can simply come to the toolbox and then this time around, we can just click on image and then once we draw in here it is going to access to specify the image you want to use so by default let's just go ahead and then select this image click on ok now in case we want to change this and then select an image from our splash.com you can double click on this and then where you have this particular icon which allows you to select an image from our splash you go ahead and then click on it and then you go to um you go ahead and specify the image you want to use and then once you're done you click on ok click on OK and then you should have the image being changed here for you. So this also works with the photo um, photo of the picture in here. So you can go ahead and then do same change this to an image from unsplash.com and then you should have that working for you. So that should change in some few seconds. So that's just about it. And then let me just resize uh, this a bit. Now when I go ahead to preview this in a browser, take a look at something. So this is loaded and um, let's just wait for some few seconds so I think it should be showing in here let me just come back in here and then preview this again we didn't have this showing which is a bit weird okay let me just um, copy this open up Chrome and then try to preview it in here I see if it's going to display okay so as you can see we have that in here now if i right click on this and then go to inspect the 
source for the image happens to be a hot link in there so this is actually a cool feature which will help you working on projects in a very simple and easy way with their unsplash integration so that's about it for this particular tutorial thank you very much for watching bye for now